Well, it's Monday, so it's time for another Disney news and updates video. We have some news for you. And apparently so does Winnie. Hey guys, it's KJ. And John. Welcome to our channel where we do videos on... Disney! Motherhood and lifestyle. If you like today's video, please... Give us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Ding the notification bell. And leave us a comment. And with that, John, what are we talking about today? Well, it's Monday, so it's time for another Disney news and updates video. And boy, do we have some Disney news and updates for you today. So obviously the biggest news, which broke at the latter part of last week, was the proposed opening date for Disneyland California, and that is July 17th, and that is pending local and state government approval. July 17th, 1955 was when the magic was first brought to us, and Disney hopes to reopen the park once again 65 years later to the day. But our West Coast friends don't have to wait all the way to the 17th for some Disney magic. On July 9th, Downtown Disney will open pending state and local government approval. So you'll be able to do all the dining and shopping your heart desires. The Disneyland Resort hotels, including Grand Californian and Paradise Pier, will open a little bit after the theme parks. They're set to open on July 23rd. All of this is pending state and local government approval. But once Disneyland does open, it will have similar health and safety guidelines that we're going to see in Walt Disney World, which is set to open on July 11th and July 15th. And also what we've come to see at Shanghai Disneyland in China. And much like we'll see in Disney World when it reopens, Disneyland will have a similar reservation system when it comes to theme park admission. For now, ticket sales are paused that includes annual pass holders. No word yet on when that will resume, but when we find out, you'll find out. So this is obviously the biggest and most exciting news. A few weeks ago, we learned that Disney World would open on July 11th. That's with the Magic Kingdom and Animal Kingdom, and July 15th for Hollywood Studios and Epcot. And now we find out that later that week, Disneyland in California, which includes Disney California Adventure, will open on July 17th, barring any hiccups with state and local governments. That covers the admission part of it. Obviously, there's a health and safety part of it, which Disney's doing some new things there as well. Disney Springs is currently testing a new security screening system. According to the manufacturer, it is the first no-stop weapon screening that automatically screens groups of people as they walk through without slowing down or stopping. Guests can walk through a touchless scanner that will check their bags. So this will be implemented in place of bag checks if it gets approved throughout Walt Disney World and Disneyland. So no longer will a security guard need to prod around in your bag with a wand and no more long lines waiting to have your backpacks and purses checked. This should hopefully prove to be more efficient and safer for all guests. In addition to the anti-weapon screening, they may also be able to use this technology for temperature screening. So between the anti-weapon technology and the temperature screening technology, this could really expedite the process of getting people into the parks safer, more quickly, and in a post-COVID world, it could help eliminate crowds and help with social distancing. We have some good news for you Disney cruisers out there. Disney Cruise Line is offering discounted cruises for sailings beginning in August and September. You can get 25% off the Dream or the Fantasy. This is only valid on new bookings, you cannot cancel, and you have to pay in full at the time of booking. Also, the number of staterooms for this promotion is limited. On August 14th, the Dream will set sail on a three-night Bohemian cruise that will be stopping at Castaway Key. And for you Castaway Key lovers out there, on August 28th, the Disney Fantasy will be setting sail and will be making two stops at Castaway Key. We were supposed to go on our own Disney cruise to the Caribbean uh, back in March when COVID was just breaking out. We had actually decided to cancel that trip because things were getting really bad at the time. It was actually the last boat to go out, so we probably could have sailed. But we didn't want to risk getting quarantined on a boat because some of those things were even out of Disney's hands. If local governments decide to keep you isolated on a boat, that's how it'd be. So we just kind of canceled that outright, and Disney was good about it. Hopefully we'll get on a Disney cruise sometime in the next six to nine months or something along those lines. When he wasn't old enough to go on that cruise, so... No way Mama was risking getting quarantined on a boat without her baby. And we were supposed to be on the Disney Dream, which was the one that I had always dreamed about going <laughs> on. Uh, so it really was disappointing, because that was the one I really wanted to be on. It's their biggest ship. Okay, so maybe we go in August. When do you want to go on a cruise? 25% off. Woohoo! Disney has been getting a lot of questions as what exactly constitutes as a mask in this COVID world. If you are planning to go to the parks anytime soon, you will have to wear a mask, as I'm sure you know. But you may ask yourself, what constitutes as a mask? Well, Disney has released guidelines for what constitutes as a mask, and we're going to share those with you. A mask is defined by something that fully covers an individual's nose and mouth and allows the guests to remain hands-free. 
It must fit snugly but comfortably against the side of the face and be secured with ties or ear loops. The mask should be made of breathable material, either disposable or reusable. In addition to masks, some of the things that would be deemed acceptable are scarves and bandanas, as long as they are snug to the face. A couple of weeks ago, we told you about the plan for the NBA to restart their season in Walt Disney World at the ESPN's Wide World of Sports Complex. While that remains the plan, there is some dissension among NBA players set to be quarantined in Orlando as to the restrictions being put on them while there. As it stands, NBA players would not have the freedom to move about the property. They would more or less be confined to their hotel rooms and the facilities that they'd be playing and practicing at. Just days ago, a group of some 100 NBA players held a 90-minute call to discuss the Walt Disney World plan. The NBA PA's executive board did vote and approve the Walt Disney World return plan, but a growing number of the union members are displeased with that vote. Those players have expressed displeasure with their voices not being heard, and many question whether this is the time to be going back to playing sports. Nothing definitive came from that call over the weekend, so we could still see a 22-team NBA restart in Disney World, but the prospects of that have grown murkier at best. But it may be reasonable to assume that a compromise and a middle ground can be found, and the NBA can restart its season in Walt Disney World as they had planned, and if they do so, that will happen on July 31st. So that's it for this Monday edition of our Disney news and updates. Hope you're as excited about the proposed opening of Disneyland as we are. And the return of the Disney Cruise Line. And hopefully the return of the NBA season at Walt Disney World. If something changes on any of these fronts, we'll let you know next Monday as we release a Disney news and updates every Monday. So be on the lookout for it. But don't worry, if there's breaking news, we will do our best to get that to you during the week. Just like we did last week with the opening of Disneyland. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, ding that notification bell, and leave us a comment. Did we miss anything? Let us know in the comments down below. And with that, we will see you guys real soon. Bye. See you at the park as soon as it opens. <laughs> Yay! Oh, you're so excited. Look at those legs go. <laughs> yes. Well, you can't wait to share the news. You are fantastic. I don't know. You said fantastic. I thought fantastic. So imagination, huh? Cat. God bless you. Why does you only sneeze when you're on me? <laughs> you only sneeze in my lap. I'm always getting wet when you're sneezing. We have some news for you. And apparently so does Winnie. Manufacturer. According to the manufacturer, does it sound like manufacturer? And the return of the Disney Cruise. Flying. <laughs>